They want Salas to build uh, Leandre and Riffmaker? No. I think what they want to do is they want to make W Max Salas better. And I think what they want to make is they want to buff Loi La Salas. Because... Basically, let me tell you why, okay? It's because, as far as my understanding goes, low elo salas players do not know how to build. So, in low elo, players who play silas buy usually full AP glass cannon builds with no haste, okay? So they buy items like Shadow Flame and Storm Surge, which are terrible items. So I think instead of... I, 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 I would assume this is why they're changing Salas to have less cooldown on W and E. It's because by reducing cooldown on W and E, you make haze builds worse and you make like full one-shot shadow flame builds better. And I think it's just to make Salas better in low ELA. I mean, this is how I read the situation. This is like the problem with a lot of champions, okay? The problem is that low ELA players just don't know how to build champions. So they ruin their performance, like, a couple of patches ago, Riot buffed base attack speed on Caitlyn. The reasoning for that was because low elo players buy too many attack speed items when attack speed is a bad stat on Caitlyn. So by buffing her attack speed ratio, you make attack speed be better stat on Caitlyn. So low elo players, even though they fuck up their builds all the time, are punished less for it. Bruiser Salas better than Burr Salas? Yes, 100%. Bruiser Salas is way more skilled than Burr Salas. But that applies to almost every champion. What is considered low ELA? Bro, I'm talking about like silver gold, where the majority of player base is. And here we have the big... Yeah, here we have the, the biggest thing that I saw a lot of people complain about. I have no f***ing clue what they're doing. So, you're reading through the Salas changes, you're thinking, wait, why is Salas getting changed? So first of all, Salas is in a completely reasonable spot. He's around 50% winnated across all ELOs. Personally, I think he's been, he's probably in one of the healthiest spots he's ever been in as a champion. He, he's, uh, he's not promoted to W max, he usually maxes Q and E, which is good for the champion. So there's just like nothing there is to complain about Salas. So what, why the f*** are they changing him? Okay. Explosion Q damage, base damage, goes from... 70 to 290 to 60 to 60 to 260. What? So it just kills the ability completely. I have no This just kills the ability. AP scaling also down. What? As a compensation buff, he gets one second less on Q. Again. I have no clue why this is happening. Why? Just why? Okay. W damage AP scaling down by 10%. Healing. AP scaling down by 15%, but now scales with 5% bonus HP. So they're trying to incentivize Salas to buy items like Cosmic Drive, maybe Leandri, maybe Riftmaker, kind of like they did with Galio. These values still scale up to 2x two, two at 60% missing health, 70 to 40% AP, 10% plus bonus HP. Okay, so overall, if you buy no HP items for Salas, I guess you're kind of losing a little bit here. Uh, on the healing part, but the damage part is that down anyway. So overall, I mean, I can't see this as a buff either. So, so far Q is worse, W is worse. Okay, where are we going with this? E. E2 AP scaling down by 20%. Huh? E1 no longer tacked as an attack reset. Being tacked as an attack reset is different from actually causing an attack reset. Attack reset tag is only really relevant for Halo Blades free stacks. So I guess this is some like Halo Blades interaction that doesn't really matter. So, what? This is it? We're just nerfing Salas? We're just... Wh why? Why? He's not a pro play problem, he's not a high elo problem, he's not a low elo problem. He's around like 50 to 51% win rate across elos. Where, where is the issue? Why are we nerfing this champion? What the f***? What is this? So again, one of the theories I had personally on why they're doing this which I think is a complete mistake. So first of all, I think W Max Salas is the worst iteration of Salas. By making Q have a longer cooldown, and by making W... I thought W cooldown was gonna go down. Wait, W cooldown doesn't even go down. Wait, wait, what? So this just basically makes Q Max Salas work worse anyway, because Q is the worst ability. What? Where the f*** are we going? This is just shade up nerfs. Q cooldown goes down one second. Yeah, that's what I thought too. So I think here... I, 
I, I, I, I don't know. I don't know. Even though Q cooldown is going down, like it, like it still makes Q a worse ability because the damage loss is just so severe. And I, I don't really get it. Like I don't get where we're going with this. So again, one of the theories I had why they're doing this is because I generally thought they're buffing W cooldown. So basically, I thought that the reason why they're doing this is because low elo Salas players are incompetent at building. TLDR of Salas is that the champion really loves ability haste, but low elo players pretend, uh, often go into items like Leech Bane and Shadow Flame, which give you like very little haste, especially items like Storm Search and Shadow Flame. So they like to buy Glass Cannon Silas. So this is why I thought like reducing cooldowns and nerfing AP ratios is a way to make Salas better in low elo because people are shit at itemizing. This is what I first thought. But now that I see that W doesn't have W cooldown reduced, I have no clue where we're going with this. The, like, this champ is never going to be played. This is just insane. How are you nerfing three of his abilities? Like even if you argue that Q is okay because one second last, which I think is not, what W is just worse, E is just worse. I, I don't get it. What the fuck are they doing? They're so incompetent. If this goes through, they're clearly just incompetent. I have this is like not explainable. 